for God's sake, the president. I don't think a, a socialist government would have a king, because that's kind of what they're against, is having a hierarchy of some sort. So, it's God save the president, but that doesn't sound fun. So, just I'm just going to keep it with God save the king. That sounds fun. That's what Canada, that's what Canada is by, all about. And it's still in our, it's still in our national, like, song, so we got to keep it in. All right, we have all these automobiles, the automobile industry. We are the first ones to jump on the automobile industry, so, or the airplane industry, so we should... What? Really? How did the Germans beat us to this? Like, legitly, I thought I was going to be one of like, the first ones to be here. I guess not. Seems like I'm going to have to work on that. Okay, yeah, you see, like, if you do, 181 workers are now starting to be moved over here. It's because I already have, like, the encouraged craftsman button, so. Like I said, if you already have a factory there, it works. Okay, and now we have a really tense situation. Can my people regain this territory before... Before I switch over to communism. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have that. Oh, yeah. White House. Change trade goods to precious motors. That is awesome. We got a gold rush. That is always awesome. Um, can we gain back our capital? Can we gain back our capital? Is it time? Can we, are we not? Oh, good. All right. So I don't have to end this Let's Play just yet. And it seems like America is having to deal with some of my rebels. That makes me kind of happy a little bit. Um, and these rebels are just annoying. Like, just... They're not even really doing anything, like, if these guys, holy shoot, what are you guys even fighting for? Okay, suppress everything. You know what, Pruitt, I'm suppressing everything. You know, I'm pretty mad now. Now you guys have pretty much made me mad. Just suppress every little thing. Because you know what, you guys obviously have to be suppressed because you guys just obviously cannot live with just being underneath my roof. I'm not being that tyrannical of a leader, I'm being a pretty nice guy. At least I think so in my mind. And look at these guys. Dang, we're importing a lot of people now. Okay, so my sulfur factory is not doing the best of jobs. We could probably increase... Well, I don't know why... I actually don't know why any of these factories are not growing because... Oh, I think I know why. It's because these regions are conquered. So, like, um, the conquered regions, they don't actually make anything. So, we have to deal with that. So, over here we have the machine parts are kind of failing. And we just got telephone factories... Which, I'm going to build some telephone factories in Manitoba. Would that be a good region? Um, I'm leaning towards a place that already has electrical gears, which is right here. Um, we actually need rubber. I just didn't realize that. So, um, right over here, we'll build our first telephone companies. And since this already has, like, electrical gears, that should be pretty well balanced. Okay. So, let's see. Over here, yeah, we should be getting this all under control again. Even though I don't know why these guys just ran all the way from here to over there. But a transcontinental railroad was a definite buy. Because that is saving up us a lot of time. And it's honestly providing us a lot of stuff. But my railroad just went out of date. Great. Yeah, I was my railroads were up to date for a little bit, but then they became out of date. And we are almost caught up with almost all of our technology except for over here. Ah, oh, we already have to upgrade that infantry. Okay, modern attitude and okay. So, off screen, I'm going to uh, do all this railroad building stuff because we just got that technology still great. So, now we have to upgrade our railroads again. So, actually, wait, 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 wait. I'll wait until we have control of the rebels. So, we get you guys don't get to get a time skip until we have control of the rebels. Because we need to get control of the rebels before we do that. And America is still vi violently fighting me for this country. They are not giving this up. Um... I think honestly in the end I think I'm gonna have to go to war. Revolution in the Chinese Empire! More revolution and we have enact women's suffrage of course. We are still a very free country even though we severely hate almost everyone that tries to rev tries to go against us. Kill anyone that's trying to rebel over here please. Okay. You guys will be my like Tibetan soldiers. You guys will guard anything that tries to do anything wrong in Tibet. I just want to make sure Tibet's a, de a defensible place. Okay. Wait one second. I'm just gonna have to wait one second. It's gonna have to get there, and then we can enact this. Okay. There we go. Now enact. Okay. And now, yeah, and we should have control of our region, and we have 87% literacy right now. That is really awesome. Okay, we have both of our armies going in to go take over all these guys from their evil positions of power. That is great, guys. And maybe once this all settles down, I'll probably divide the armies. And so we can do a little bit more. And there's really not, there's really not that many left, which is good. 
And we just got expelled from Ecuador. America actually cares about Ecuador. Who would have known? Okay, so, um... While this is doing this, I might as well build a new army over here in Korea. Or Korea places, because we really... Um, we have just so much manpower. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay, so... Off screen, I'm gonna do that, because this could possibly take a little bit for me to, like, get the individual places. Okay, be right back. Okay, back! That was very quick, actually, because it was... It wasn't really that much I could build. Most of these regions only could build like one, while over here we could build like 16 different regions. So, you know, if I want to build more like Yuanians army, then I'll do that. But for right now, I don't really need it because I don't really have any like connection to my other Canadian army. Um, which, speaking of which, I probably has my truce worn off with the uh, Zingzai. Uh, let me see. Oh uh, no, I want to go to the diplomatic screen. Yes, my troops has worn off. Are they allied with anyone? Anyway, they are in the sphere of the Japan. Allied with Quinn Ye. That stinks, because then that means I can't... Oh, that stinks. That just royally stinks right there, because that means I can't take over this without enacting the wrath of this, which means I can't, if I were to go to war with it right now, I mean, if I were just legitly to go with it right now, I could not take it over for like another two years. For 10 years, which really does stink, but then it kind of complete the rest of my empire. I really want this, but I can't rip it out of the, of the make. You know what? Maybe that could. Maybe if I did that, it might help the. Uh, it might help the Americans actually gain power, but I mean, not Americans. The Japanese decide, hey, we just want this region. So maybe they'll invest all the points in just this region, so that we can. You know, maybe we can finally rip it out of the American sphere. Because that's what we really need to do is rip it out of the American sphere. But uh, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll wait until my infamy is a little bit more. Germans have insulted me. That's not the best idea, Germany. Actually, you guys are much bigger than me. Like, how big? Yeah, you guys are basically number one in almost everything. So you guys do whatever you want. And I'm increasing my militaristic tech right now. We have more technological advancements going. I mean, really, economy. Oh, automobiles. Okay. In my friends let's play, as you guys know, I like... The Germans beat me in the automotive industry. I am going... I am determined to beat the Volkswagen in this let's play. If you guys don't know what the Volkswagen is, that's just basically like the classic Hitler car that Hitler b built so that it would be the most efficient thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to build, and I know this is not the smartest idea ever, but I have enough in money to recover from this. I'm going to build an automotive factory in every single one of my regions. That way, if I really do not beat the uh, Germans in automotive industry, I will be very, very, very disappointed in my own Volkswagen. And right now, let's see, how many people have always started the high demands and high demand? How many people have always started it? Really only the UKians. I think we could probably beat them. There's a new crisis for Poland. Not really interested. <laughs> As I've said before, Poland is never really on high alert. Um... Most of these places are still uncivilized, that's good, that's very good, um, and we got more Canadian revolutionaries, but luckily I have no little tiny islands, so they're all gonna die eventually. That is the best thing about this, is I have no little tiny islands, so I'm eventually gonna kill all these people. And I'm gaining so much army, so much, so much, though my projected daily balance is terrible. My projected, like, almost everything else is just... Like, I'm making 11k right here and 13k right here. Wait, how's that working out right here? I'm making a total income of about 11k, and I'm, I'm expending about 13k. This must be some capitalist advantage, and... I guess since we're capitalists now, we believe in, let's see, socialists believe in secularized. No, we still believe in it, I guess. Religion is not a political issue. That's what we believe. I guess we still do technically believe in a god. We just don't believe in a, uh... We just don't want to be involved in politics, which is an admirable thing, and National Banking Act, of course. That is always, I guess, a good thing. I think I'm playing this character right, and, um, yeah, I don't, hmm, I really should study up on my socialism again, because I don't honestly remember if they had national banks or not. I'm, I'm feeling like that's something they would actually oppose, but not entirely sure, um, we do not, we are pro-military. Brazil feels our, fears our might. That's great. That's always good to know. Okay, so now that the uh, crisis with our workers have kind of declined, 
How are we actually looking for workers? Okay, it seems like we're going pretty good. Our automo our automotive industry better be strong. Gold Rush! Yes! Where is that, actually? Cordova. Cordova. I think... Might be somewhere in... You know what? Before I actually look at this, this, this will be much easier. Okay. Go to all G outputs. Okay. Go to Brazil. I know Brazil. Not Brazil. Peru. Go to Peru. Peru should have some type of... No, they have sulfide. No, I swear they had, like, precious metals somewhere around here. There it is. Okay, precious metals. And now let's look through our country to find out where our little gold mines are happening. Yep, they're right happening over here in Alaska. What? Okay, Alaska was definitely a great buy. And there is that little precious metals place right there. And are the Russians actually being the biggest producer in precious metals? Let's see. Because, you know, that would give me even more incentive to go after them. Rubber is something that we probably should get at some point, because we definitely need rubber in our country. Um, where's precious metals? I don't think it's actually a resource, okay. But yeah, that would really aggravate me if they had all the stock right now. And now that the uh, revolution has ended and we have lots of railroads tuned up, now it's time for me to go off screen and do railroads. So everyone, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, and we are back, and as you guys can see, I basically upgrade every single one of my railroads, which I could, and um, I think the Russians are actually building, like, high-class forts all across the border between him and me. So, obviously the Russians expect some kind of conflict between, the, between us, which isn't necessarily good, and America and us are just going diplomatically to hell. I mean, we are... <laughs> We are basically hating each other right now in the in the field. All right, so we want that. Um, we want to move. We now that we have a good free moment, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going back to original positions. I'm gonna move my uh, all my big artillery over here, and we got jindoism pro military. Okay, four pen missions, whatever. Okay, we got we just basically we got more electricity. Okay, and any other, like, little armies I need to deal with. There's a little army right over here, I forgot, I guess. Okay, and yeah, it seems like they're going much quicker over the mountains, which is always great to see now that we are getting much faster and faster at the mountains because we now can actually upgrade the mountains, which is a great thing because the mountains, as you guys know, were keeping us back for a while. And attend the first Olympic Games? Yes, we shall attend! Which should increase a lot of our relationships, which is good. And apparently this is finished. That's good. It means we just, like, upgrade again. That finished too. Apparently we upgrade this again. Okay. And America, we're going to try to increase our relationships with you because you are definitely one of those people we cannot make mad at this point in our lives. Because if we make you guys mad, we are definitely in deep doo-doo. Okay. And we're going to increase our Russian relationships by 152. That way they won't be able to declare war on us, even if they tried. And this episode is about 16 to 18 minutes long um, I don't have a timer here so I can't actually like tell what time it is exactly but I know we're coming close to the end so I'll try to find a good wrapping up moment here in the next couple minutes okay causes belly against Egypt I really don't care <laughs> let's be honest with my with this, I'll be honest here I really don't care okay let's I'll fit an expedition of course can Canada has to be the first one in North Pole I mean, we legitly have to be. I mean, we're right. We literally border the North Pole. And we found more gold in Fairbanks, which I think, I'm guessing right, Fairbanks is probably next to our gigantic Alaskan gold mine. Yep, Fairbanks is right there. Yes. Oh, man, we are getting so much precious metals from this. Like, it's it's crazy how, many we're, how much we're getting. Oh, man. I'm really loving this. Like, this Alaska... This Alaska deal was such a great buy. I mean, it's helping us out so much. And our our economy is just like booming to the utmost. And in fact, some of our mill some of our middle class people are actually happy, which is amazing. In fact, wait, how can we make you guys even more happy? How can we get you guys in the luxurious needs? Which is probably what we should be working towards. Um, let's see, yeah. Not aristocrats. I don't really care about aristocrats. Laborers, no. Let's look at craftsmen. That's really what I want to look at. How can we make the craftsmen start getting into more everyday needs? They need coal, tea, liquor, regular clothes, furniture. Alright. 
um, lacked funds to buy needed goods. I'm guessing that's because we tax you guys so much you guys can never get it. Because um, if we could get these guys as our main producers, actually we could get the farmers as our main producers, but we actually want the farmers, the uh, 157, oh wait, I don't want Alaska, whoops, what am I doing? Okay, that's exactly what happened last time. Okay, I want 70.2, right, make sure these are Canadians. Laborers, we want farmers, sorry, we want farmers. Okay, and what would we need to get the farmers? Okay, let me just do this. Let me mess with it. What we need to get the farmers into luxurious needs? Coal, fertilizer, tea, liquor, regular clothes. Okay, so basically everything that's basically semi commodable. So, um, with that, everyone, I guess I'll end the episode here. This was kind of a very, very, um, relaxed episode. We really. We didn't do as much as we did like last episode, but you know, I think it's still important that I show you guys that, you know, I do not cheat. <laughs> I do not cheat during my free hours. This is kind of how I think when I'm like just in these kind of lows moments. And so, you know, I'm glad that you guys also stick with me through this. And um, uh, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I, it may not seem like a lot to you guys, but it really does mean a lot to me that you guys do this. So, you know. And honestly, you guys can ask me any questions in the chat. I mean, you can ask me a question about the video. Or you can ask me questions about my real life or personal life. Actually, uh, yeah, anything really. So, example, you guys can ask me what my favorite color is. So, just a little help. And I think that's basically going to cover the rest of this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.